In these next five minutes, we want to give you just a flavour of this fascinating programme in which music and poems interact with each other. That's actually the end of the programme. But now I want to introduce a poem that my father wrote before the Second World War, where there was a mood of anxiety and tension. Uh, his poem is The Tunnel, and then I'm going to play a little bit of Schumann, which seems to contain that same sort of tension. And then Timothy West will read an extract from this dramatic ballad, The Jarvis Bay. The Tunnel. This is where the water hurries under the archway. This is where we enter the long tunnel. And the sunlight is cut by the blade of dark. So long to have lived in the calculable daylight. So long to have hoped we might not meet the darkness. And now it has come. Our eyes must alter focus. Time was we saw the country spread before us. Spread behind, around, charting current speed, landmarks, plotted our course aright. That time has ended. Now night winds. Strain ahead, discover nothing. Round, above, nothing but the dank and hollow darkness. Look back, the arch we entered, and the circle dwindling. Is there an outlet? And into what country? We feel the pace, spray mounts. What means that muffled roaring? But the end of this tunnel, no one knows. The forecastle is blown away. Splinters rive her decks to ribbons and bury her under spray. And her burning hull as she plunged on was a bright torch that day. She shudders. With the clearing smoke, her main bridge is gone. And Fegan's arm is a shredded stump, and he fights on. He staggers off to the docking bridge. Another blinding blast. The ensign down. Another ensign! Nail it to the mast! A seaman climbs and nails it there where the house flag used to fly, and there it speaks defiance to the shaker of the sky. So that's my father in dramatic mode, but he also enjoyed writing lighter verse, and when I was asked to write a piece for the Lambeth Palace Garden Appeal, we worked together, and he actually wrote these words to a tune that already I had written. It's about gardening, and any gardener will understand what's going on here. To work with nature, that fickle creature, he needs a resolution nothing undermines. For while he's sleeping, the snails are creeping, and slugs are working out the devious designs. For grubs and aphids, no blossom safest. Unless the watchful gardener flies with his prey When seeds are springing and birds come winging And frost and tempest wait to sweep the blooms away Suggestion is hard to question. The gardeners are of humankind, the very flower. Ah, 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 ah. 